Okay, I'm going to be drawing, showing you guys how to draw an 8 foot by 12 foot shed in SketchUp. Uh, I'm going to start off by selecting my rectangle tool. Now you can either come up here to the rectangle box and click on it or you can just simply press R and get a rectangle box going. Click on the origin. I'm going to make this uh, uh, 1.5 comma by 12 foot comma. I'm going to use my push pull tool. You can come up here and click on the push pull tool or you can simply just hit P and P does it for you. I'm going to pull that up. I pulled it up to nine, nine and one eighth inches. That's too far, so now I'm going to type in 5.5 to make it snap back down to 5.5 inches, which I did. Okay, I drew my 2x6 rim joist here. I'm going to hit my space bar as a select tool. I'm going to triple click this with my left click button, one, two, three, so that it highlights like that. Then I'll right click and click on make component. Making components is, uh, so when you click on this component, it selects the whole thing. As before, if you didn't make a component, you can select any of the different edges and do different things to it, but now when you click on it, it's, it's just one thing. But anyway, I feel as you build, it's easier to make components and do things and to make changes to those components. You can do it, uh, you know, just makes things a little easier, but uh, I'm gonna hit my R button for rectangle draw a rectangle. going to hit comma 1.5. going to hit my push pull button. going to make this uh, 7 foot 9 inches. going to hit my space bar to select. I'm going to triple click. going to make this a component. going to going to be drawing the foundation uh, floor, floor joist on uh, 24 inches on center. So I'm going to select this one hit M for move. I'm going to select the lower left corner and I'm going to click it and drag it and as I drag I'm going to tap the control button move it over a little bit. Now I'm going to type in, now that I let go, I'm going to type in the dimensions I want to snap it to. 23.25 Okay. Now I'm going to pan over a little bit. I'm going to select my move tool again. Do the same thing again click the lower left hand corner of the box I mean rectangle hit control uh, make sure that you don't want to be on the black like that you want to make sure you see a, a green on green axis so that you know you're moving it parallel I'm gonna let go I'm gonna hit 24 now I'm gonna I want to make a, some more copies of this and I want it to be the same dimension so I'm gonna hit X means times I want to do that same move and the same thing times. Uh, let me go uh, six times. Okay, and I just made a bunch of copies. Now I'm going to hit H. And looks like I drew too many times. So what I'm going to do is select this one out here by itself and I'm going to delete it. No big deal. Now, all these are drawn, snapped to where I want them to be, except for this one. I'm going to select this, hit my M tool for move. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use my pan tool. Pan you, can, pan, you can come up here to click on the hand uh, or you can just hit H. And Okay, I'm going to come here. Now I'm going to select the rectangle tool. I'm going to come here to this corner. Click. Go to this corner. Click. I'm going to hit P for push pull. Pull it out. I'm going to hit 1.5 and I just quickly drew a drew a frame. Now I'm going to hit control A, select everything, right click on it. I'm going to make that say make group. A group is now when I select anywhere on here, I'm I'm clicking on everything. And now that I got that selected, I want to paint it. So I'm going to hit the B button, which brings up the paint bucket, and I'm going to select uh, wood. Under wood is this color of uh, wood, plywood knots. I'm going to select that. Click on this, and then I just painted everything to make it look like a stud. Okay, now I got my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw my runners underneath the 
foundation. I'm going to make those out of, uh, uh, let's go with uh, uh, four by sixes. So I'm going to hit the R, come up to this corner, come here, hit comma, 3.5. I'm going to hit my push pull tool. Now I'm going to make this come down. Again, I'm going to type in 5.5. I'm going to triple click this, select it, right click. I'm going to make this a component. I'm going to hit create. I'm going to select this again and I'm going to hit B for the paint bucket. I'm going to go ahead and make color this. Okay, now I'm going to uh, rotate this back around to this view. Uh, I'm going to select select that uh, four. I mean a four by six. I'm going to hit the M button to move it. I'm going to highlight this little corner here. So I want to grab it by this corner and drag it. Uh, as I'm moving, I want to hit the control button to make a copy. I'm just going to drag this over to this corner. Go to the corner here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use my line tool, draw a line. I'm going to hover right in the middle of this because I want to cut this in half. Because I'm going to make it on center, right in the center of the of the two. So I'm just going to draw a little line. I'm going to select my move tool. Oh, first I'm going to select, select my component. Hit the M tool. Now I'm, I want to hover right in this, right in the center of that and I'm going to I'm going to click it and drag it by the center. Hit Control to make a copy. I'm going, to, I'm going to come over here and try to find the midpoint. If you if you hover up here and look for it, eventually when you get close to it, it says midpoint in component, and you can just kind of hover and hold time drag, and it snapped it for me. Now I'm there. Okay. If you're not sure if you got it right in the center, you can check it. Uh, let me delete this uh, line. What you do is you go up to your tape measure, you can click on your tape measure, or you can just hit P, I'm sorry, hit T, measure here, go there, three foot six and three quarter, exit, measure from here to here, three foot six and three quarter. That's perfectly centered, just to check. I guess while we're checking, might as well check. Them. Let's just do a quick check and make sure that uh, this is indeed eight by eight by twelve. That's eight foot this way, twelve foot this way. Looks like we're good to go. Okay. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and select all this. I'm going to make this all one group. <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to draw my sheathing. Going to hit your rectangle tool. Come here. Uh, Four foot, uh, okay, let me go uh, eight foot, comma, four foot, draw that, just do the same thing, uh, eight foot, comma, four foot, do it one more time. Eight foot, comma, four foot. I'm gonna draw that. I'm gonna hit push pull tool. Select this. Hit point seven five. I'm gonna select that to here on the face. Select. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, triple click. Select all that. I'm gonna make this a group. I'm gonna, going to select my paintbrush. Make this. OSB, kind of paint it to make it look like OSB. Okay, I'm gonna hit my select tool. Just do a quick, quick, make sure it worked. It did. Okay. 